Hello, my name is Peter Christian Eide. I'm a professor of neurosurgery at the University of Oslo. Thanks for listening to this short presentation about our recent paper in Brain entitled Sleep Deprivation Impairs Molecular Clearance from Human Brain. It remains a mystery why human beings spend one third of life asleep. Experimental data suggests that sleep is required for clearance of waste products from brain metabolism. This has never been verified in humans. We asked whether one night of total sleep deprivation affects molecular clearance from human brain, and whether clearance was affected by subsequent sleep. Multiphase MRI with standardized T1 sequences was performed before and after intrathecal administration of the contrast agent gadabutrol in a single dose of 0.5 millimole, serving as a CSF tracer. Two patient groups were compared, individuals undergoing total sleep deprivation from day one to day two, and control subjects with free sleep from day one to day two. From day two to three, all individuals were allowed free sleep. The two groups were matched according to age, gender, and reason for MRI. The one and only intervention was total sleep deprivation in one group. After intrathecal administration, the tracer distributed within the CSF spaces and the tracer enriched the entire brain in a centripetal fashion, that is from the cortical surface and inward. Enrichment of tracer in brain tissue was similar in both groups, both within the cerebral cortex gray matter and within cerebral white matter. Within CSF spaces, here within Cisterna Magna, tracer enrichment was comparable between both groups. This figure shows a trend plot of tracer enrichment within gray matter of cerebral cortex. In the clearance phase, tracer levels were higher after 24 and 48 hours in the sleep deprivation group, which shows that clearance was reduced after sleep deprivation. In the white matter, clearance of tracer was impaired after 48 hours in the sleep deprivation group. Clearance was impaired in frontal cortex after 24 and 48 hours, and similarly impaired in temporal cortex, and impaired in parietal cortex after 48 hours, and after 24 and 48 hours in the insular cortex. It was impaired after 48 hours in thalamus, while after 24 and 48 hours in amygdala. And these are only some examples. Please refer to our paper for overview. From free surfer analysis of all individuals participating in the study, tracer enrichment in brain is shown at the group level. The change in T1 signal from day 1 to day 2 is presented for the sleep deprivation group in the upper panel and in the mid panel B for the sleep group. The lower panel C shows the percentage difference in signal increase between the cohorts. Sleep deprivation minus sleep groups. The color scale indicates that tracer levels in brain tissue were higher after sleep deprivation compared to sleeping subjects. Red color represents areas with the highest tracer levels. In particular, clearance of tracer after sleep deprivation was most impaired in frontal, temporal, parietal and cingulate cortical areas. Overall, we conclude that the present results provide in vivo evidence that one night of total sleep deprivation impairs molecular clearance from human brain. Most importantly, this was not compensated for by another night's sleep.
indicating that humans do not catch up on lost sleep. The results support the hypothesis that the interstitial space increases in the sleeping human brain, as previously demonstrated in rodents. Thanks for watching and feel free to contact in case of further questions.